Hey, welcome back to another episode of Sekiro. We're taking on Corrupted Monk. We're gonna run on in, do the Mortal Blade twice, run back. He'll do one, two, three swings all the time, run on in, do another two swings of the Mortal Blade on him, and run on back. He'll either jump back from this point or do two swings again, then you can quickly run in and do two swings with the Mortal Blade again. So as you can see, I've got no spirit left at all in this round, but the Mortal Blade still works and it's quite effective. So again, two swings with the Mortal Blade and then run back again. That's what we're gonna do throughout this whole first phase. Bait him into a certain move, run on up, do two swings of the Mortal Blade and then run away again. Some things you have to look out for is you don't know if he's gonna do two swings or three swings, so just keep an eye out for that. But as you can see, he does his moves, run on in, he's doing three swings there and then you do the Mortal Blade twice. Make sure you run up close enough so you can get two hits with the Mortal Blade. Hit him twice, both times. So you can see that his poise bar is just about full. Uh, Mortal Blade does quite a fair bit of damage. His health is down to half, but because his poise bar is quite full now, when it is full, we'll be able to get in that death blow. So let's try and bait him into a move again. He does a swing sometimes when he charges out, otherwise sometimes he'll do a jump in the air and do a dive down attack like so, and that's quite dangerous. But if you dodge to the side, you can quickly and easily get in a mortal blade hit on him twice. So we're quite close now to getting in the first depth blow. And here we go, run on in, mortal blade one and two, and there we go, depth blow number one. Right, now during the second phase, what you wanna do is take the target lock off, jump up onto the highest branch over here, and while he's summoning in that shadow version of himself, just find the real him, lock on, dive down, and do the death blow. Death blow number two. And that's phase two of the fight over, just like that. Now I currently have a vitality of 17 and an attack power of nine. So as you can see, I like to mention those stats because a lot of videos you see, it works for them, but it may not work for you, but you don't know what their stats are. Okay, so what we're doing through this last phase of the fight, well, you can hold up to 10, fists of ash and all we're doing is throwing ash in his face two hits ash in the face two hits basically you can try that mortal blade trick in the first round like i did but it doesn't seem to poise him as much and he will swing at you and you'll get hit so i actually ran out of ash here so i'm going to resort to that technique like we did in the first round and you can see here it doesn't really poise him as much and stun him so basically he sort of gets me good during the start here and I have trouble getting away from him to get the heal in so his poise bar is quite full though, so all I gotta do is do a few more hits on him. So doing the ash in the face and the two hits can bring up his poise bar up to that amount, as you can see there. So it's only gonna take a few more swings to get him out of the game. Now this is only a new recording video that I've uploaded to my channel after the patch. And you can see how it works quite well with some of the techniques that I've been using. So basically, phase one, just bait him into a move, run in, do two mortal blade attacks on him. Even though I've got no spirit at all, the mortal blade does still work. During phase two, jump up into the highest branch and when he summons his shadow, just find the real him, target lock him and do a death blow. And that eliminates phase two. And then on phase three, basically you throw an ash in his face, doing two hits, ash in the face, doing two hits. Once you've used up the total amount of ash you can hold, which is 10, his poise bar is quite full and you only need to get in a few good whacks on him, which will actually end the fight. Just look out for that worm he spews out, a whole lot of little worm centipedes at you. Look out for that. He's got a very extended range through this third phase, but we'll just keep it up, try and chip away at his health. It does go down pretty quick because his poise bar is quite full. And there you go, death blow number three. And there you have it, the true enemy within, a symbiont within controlling this monk. So there you go, the real monk is out of the game. And like I said, this is only a new recording uploaded to my channel after the patch. And basically we'll go through it again, phase one, run in after you baited him in on a move, do two whacks with the mortal blade, even if you've got no spirit left, it still works. Second phase, jump to the highest branch, find the real him, target lock, jump down, do a death blow, and that's in the phase two. Phase three, basically do the smoke in the face and two hits, smoke in the face and two hits. You get 10 of those in, and that brings his poise bar quite high, and you just gotta try and finalize it. But there you go, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like.